Welcome into Fantasy Football today on CBS Local Sports. Nick Costos, Jamie Eisenberg, and Dave Richard getting you set to win your fantasy football matchups. In week number three, gentlemen, starts and sits at every position. Let's start with quarterbacks. Jamie, who are you firing up? Let's keep Matt Ryan going for another week. Great first two weeks so far. And who does he get in week three? Oh, yeah, that's right. The Saints on Monday night. He's got a great track record there. You're starting him. And after this, sell high because it's going to be downhill from him with a very tough schedule. One of those teams he plays is the Seahawks. Their quarterback is Russell Wilson. He's a sit this week. He's not at 100%. His offensive line is bad. Even though he's at home, even though he's playing against the 49ers, you can't trust him to put up big numbers. Now, Dave, speaking of the Seattle Seahawks, what running back are you starting this week? I'm glad you went to this because Kristen Michael is the guy that the Seahawks should lean on in their run game. The offensive line has been bad, but he's still averaging over five yards per carry. This is the guy that the Seahawks should lean on in the game against San Francisco. I think Kristen Michael is a good start this week. And I look at the running back situation in Chicago, and Jeremy Langford is still probably the quote-unquote starter, but they're going to start taking more work away from him. They did that in week two, and we saw at the end of that game, Jordan Howard, their rookie, started to look a little bit better. And with the way Langford fumbled at the end of the game, not producing in the passing game, Jordan Howard may get more opportunities than we saw so far in the first two games and may start to take away work from Langford enough to where he's going to be cut in a lot of leagues. Jamie, at wide receiver, Stephon Diggs dominated last Sunday night against the Packers. Can he keep it going this week in Carolina? I think we're going to see this secondary tested for the first time. Granted, they faced Trevor Simeon with two good receivers, but it was an inconsistent quarterback situation there. Bradford comes out. We saw it last week. Didn't Wasn't a afraid to go to Stephon Diggs quite a bit and now no Adrian Peterson probably going to be more throwing in Minnesota so I like what Stephon Diggs has done through two games have a lot of confidence to start him this week. I don't have any confidence in Jeremy Macklin he's going up against the Jets and it's not about being on Revis Island so much as it is about him not being a burner downfield and that's how the Jets secondary has been beat it's been big plays by AJ Green and those backup receivers in Buffalo Macklin isn't going to be able to do that Alex Smith doesn't throw a lot of those passes Jeremy Macklin shouldn't be in starting lineups. Now at the tight end position, Dave, Dennis Pitt has found the fountain of youth, and you want him in your lineup. He's found the field. He's back. He's healthy, and Joe Flacco loves him some Dennis Pitta, so I think that's going to continue to be a connection that we see on the field. The matchup against Jacksonville is great for Baltimore. That defense is already banged up. Their offense is just as banged up. It's going to lead to a great situation where Baltimore is going to have the lead, and they can't lean on their run game because their run game stinks. So Pitt is going to be a nice short area target. 12 targets last week from Joe Flacco. Dennis Pitt is going to be a good start in fantasy. If you were to tell me going into this year, even going into last year, that I would have said at any point in the future that I would love Dennis Pitta over Travis Kelsey, I would have probably fired myself. But here we go. You're Dennis fired. Pitta better than Travis Kelsey right now. And you saw last week, he already had a better game than Pitta had for the majority of the last two years. He's been so underwhelming. The talent's there. I don't think it's really on him. I think it's on the quarterback. I think it's on the circumstance. But this week, this matchup is tough. It's hard to get away from Travis Kelsey. I understand that. Better in PPR than standard formats. But I would take Dennis Pitta over Travis Kelsey this week. Those were your starts and sits for week number three. For Dave Richard and Jamie Eisenberg, I'm Nick Costos. Thanks for watching Fantasy Football Today on CBS Local Sports.